that buck And just like that, he's gone. I'm not sure if he'll come back or not. So this hunting season has not gone the way I had planned on it. <laughs> right from the beginning. First off, I had an opportunity to guide some bear hunters for the last three weeks, so I went ahead and did that, and I haven't been able to get out deer hunting hardly at all. Then this morning, I just saw that buck that I've been watching all summer come across the food pot and he hung around for about 10 or 15 minutes and I knew he'd be bedded right down back here so I decided I'd come out here about three o'clock the buck decided to come out around quarter up <laughs> I had to sneak down into the shooting shack he never saw me but by the time I get everything set up, he was just getting ready to leave. He had a long ways to go to get in the bow range, but I also saw three does out here this morning too, so with any luck, maybe he'll come back with the does here a little bit later on. The deer haven't been in the food plot at all. They have about the last two or three weeks, at least that I've seen anyway. Uh, this morning was the first time I've seen him in quite a while. All we can do is wait and see if he comes back out.
And now, what you didn't get to see, that buck stayed just out of shooting range <laughs> until I couldn't shoot no more. Then he come right up to the edge of the food plot and walked right along the edge of it, probably 20 to 25 yards, and he was there for almost a half an hour. I had to wait. It's almost 7 o'clock now there. Uh, yeah, I cannot believe that. Never had an opportunity. Even if he had been in range before it got dark, uh, he never gave me a quarter inch shot or even a broadside shot. Uh, and I'm not sure uh, if he's breeding that doe or what there, uh, but I'm going to be back out there tomorrow morning and maybe uh, I'll get things right tomorrow. But <laughs> at least I see him anyway. It's pretty quiet this morning, so I'm not going to talk too awful much. I'm just going to hang back here and see if that buck doesn't come back out this morning. Well, it doesn't look like them deer are going to show up this morning. I guess it is what it is. I'm not sure what the deal was with that doe last night. Seems like it's awful early to be breeding. I think it's uh, the 21st today. There was a fawn this summer. They got orphaned and was hanging around here quite a bit. And uh, I think I've got some footage of even, uh, there was a bachelor group hanging around out here and that fawn was hanging with them. And I'm just wondering if that fawn didn't come out when she saw that buck last night. I'm not sure, but maybe they're already breeding, but it seems like it's a little early to me. That buck last night. <laughs> he uh, walked after dark, after I couldn't shoot anymore. He came right up along the edge of that pool plot. It's just about 15 yards. <laughs> well, he may have done me a favor. So if I'd have shot him, I'd have probably spent the rest of the season saying, geez, I should have waited for a bigger one. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty decent deer, but uh, it ain't no monster. And I'm pretty sure uh, during rifle season I can get a bigger buck. But there's plenty of season left, so at least I'm getting a little action in anyway. I'm not too sure just what I'm going to do yet whether I'm going to sit back here this afternoon or uh, if I'm going to wait and go down to the expanded area and hunt down there some. Uh, Eric's been hunting down there a little bit. He hasn't been doing any filming, but uh, he did manage to uh, get one doe. And uh, we've got a bunch of pictures of uh, 
some different bucks down in that area, so I may go down there and hunt for a few days before the uh, rifle season opens up. So we appreciate you watching, and uh, until next time.